If you have one of these three COM4400 switches and you need to factory reset it, what you need is the serial console cable to go with it. And if you don't have a laptop or desktop which has a serial port, uh, you would need an adapter uh, like USB to serial uh, adapter. You need to ensure that when you plug this adapter to your computer, it is recognizable and speaking a valid COM port. Make note of this COM port. And then you would need a tool like putty to be able to access the switch. So you select the serial, open putty, select serial, enter the COM port, and on the speed just type 19200 and then hit open. Then you plug the connect your serial console serial cable to the console port at the back of the switch then power the switch by simply plug the power cord to the switch and wait for a few seconds we will try to hit enter now to see if it will give us login uh, prompts so now it prompts to login you just type recover as the username and recover again as the password when it's counting down unplug the power cord from the switch wait for a few seconds or down to 10 then power the switch back by simply plug the power cord back to the switch we will wait for a couple of seconds then we hit enter a couple of times at this point it asks enter the new password for the admin user we just hit enter for blank password hit enter again for a blank password say the password recovery feature is enabled we leave it enabled just hit enter to accept the enable as default and then hit enter again well, this menu we just select system we just go to the system menu by typing system under the system menu we will go to the control menu by simply typing control enter under control we will initiate the initialize command so we just simply type initialize and if you made a mistake if you made a mistake on typing you just hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then hit the backspace okay hit enter when prompt, just type yes to continue the initialization process. Hit enter and just wait for a few minutes before uh, continue. So in a couple of minutes, the process will uh, will be able to uh, access the the default menu. If I, type, if I hit enter a couple of times now so a login will be admin password will be blank most of all we will be prompted to uh, that the initialization process is still yeah so the initialization uh, process is still in progress so we will just uh, wait we can hit enter meanwhile we can go we can actually go to the get, getting started and over here we can just select auto just by typing auto and uh, hit enter for blank system name enter for blank system location enter for blank system contact do you want to change your password no we will accept the defaults and uh, do you wish to set up the advanced configurations no again 
do you want to apply parameters say yes and that's it so at this stage we will leave it for about uh, five ten minutes running and then we can unplug the switch and the switch is ready to be disposed or decommissioned hope this helps someone out there